Hey guys, it's Roland from Bilingual Analytics. Welcome to today's video where we are going to talk about different ways of transforming data. Before we start, make sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button so you never miss a new episode. Clicking on the bell icon also helps a lot. In one of the previous videos, we have covered how to import files from a folder and combine them into a single table or query. Check out the links at the end of this video. Now, in this tutorial, I would like to show and tell the difference between merge and append queries. You probably already saw those buttons in Power Query, but have you ever used them? Let me know down in the comments below. It is important to understand the difference between these two and know which one is going to be useful for your use case. More importantly, if you come with no SQL experience, some of the finer details, especially for merge, might sound confusing. This time, there won't be too many nice visual elements or fancy report designs, as we are going to focus on data massaging and transformations. Sometimes we have to get our hands dirty. With all of that out of the way, let's head over to Power BI and learn something new today. Here we are in Power Query, and we have a few queries imported already. I know Merge is above Append on the ribbon, but Append Queries is easier to understand, so I'm going to warm up with that. Query 1 is a small, randomly generated sales table, with nothing more than a couple of product IDs and sales value. I'm only going to use a few lines here to make it easier to see what's going on. Query 2 is another sales table with the exact same fields or columns. Let's see what append does. We have two options. First, we can append another query or table to the currently selected one, or we can append as new. If we click on just append while we are on query 2, and select query 1 in the pop-up screen, Power Query will combine Query 2 and Query 1 into a single query under Query 2. Think it's usually a good or best practice to keep original queries intact, so I prefer to append as new. If we do that, an additional query will appear where we can find our combined data. Let's revert to the default view. Now we can append as a new query. We can easily append queries when they have the exact same fields or column names. In query 3, we have products instead of product as the first column. Now, if we try to append all three of them, we will face a tiny problem. With the append function, we can combine multiple queries, not just two. So let's try combining query one, two, and three. The new combined query is going to start with the products ID from query three sales for all three tables and the product field or product id from the first two queries now obviously this is not what we want the most effective way to solve this issue is to rename columns a couple of example business cases where this append function could be useful receiving data from multiple sources and wanting to combine them into a single report different format of raw data but there is a requirement to combine all of them. Of course, in real life scenarios, you may experience vastly different report formats. So please remember to make sure that your column order and column names are exactly the same in all the queries that you want to combine or append. Before we jump over to the merge function, let me show you one more thing to consider when appending queries. Once you have a new master query, with all the individual queries combined, you can and you should disable the load of the row queries. 
This step is useful as you are not going to use those row queries to build your report, so you won't need those fields available. You can disable those by right-clicking on the query and untick Enable Load. Once that's done, the font of the query will be italic, showing you that it won't be loaded into the report. Let me click on Close and Apply and you will see that only our combined query will be listed in the report. But we still have all of our data. Alright, now we can jump into Merge Queries. As I said before, if you're not familiar with SQL, this is a bit more challenging to tackle. But in layman terms, merge or join works as a lookup in Excel. So while append is based on columns, merge is based on rows. However, there are quite a few options to merge tables. We have a product mapping table, and that's where we can find a bit more information or details about our products. Let's say that we would like to bring over these fields to our new combined or appended sales table. Again, we have two options to merge data. Let's go with merge as new, just to be safe. We need to select the columns where we want Power Query to look up data. So we need a source and we need a result table and those fields need to contain similar information, just like with lookups in Excel. In Merge, we don't need to have the same names for the columns. Of course, it could help us as report creators. And below the second table, we have our join kind. I believe that in most business cases, we will use left outer, but just to be safe, you can see on the screen with Venn diagrams the different join kinds. If you are keen to learn more about these joins, I put some links down in the description below so you can read more. I would strongly encourage you to read a little bit more about joins, especially if you don't have too clean data. But as I said, we want to bring over product details, so let's keep it on left outer. We can immediately see some confirmation from Power BI about the matches in the bottom of this pop-up window. If we click on OK, the whole product table will appear on the right hand side. We just need to click on the top right corner of the header and select the fields we want to add. Keep all selection for the time being. And just like that, we have all product details available next to our sales details. Of course, at this stage you can rename columns, apply further transformation, and much more. As we discussed in the beginning, we wanted to look up details from a table and move it to the sales details query. We achieved it with the merge queries function in Power Query. Why is this useful? Especially that we always talk about the star schema, and if we create the relationship with the product table, we can achieve the same thing without needing to go through all these steps. In some very unique cases, we may not have a 100% alignment with naming conventions, and that's when some sort of these different join types or fuzzy match options can be really handy. Of course, this way we would lose one end of the star model, but having these details linked to the report is more important than sticking to the star schema. I would strongly recommend that, if you can, you set up a proper dimension table and define your relationships as it is considered the best practice. However, if that's not an option, you can use Merge as an alternative solution. As always, the key is to find the right balance that suits your needs. Thanks for joining me today. I know it was a bit more technical than the usual stuff. You did great and I hope that I was able to shed some light on these features in Power Query. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to get notified when a new video is available.
Stay tuned for more videos. See ya.